Are you aware of the triple cone cup dilemma two weeks ago? This event is absolutely just garbage. It was criticized for favoring players who, let's say, spend a lot of money on time in the game using prosperity points. No, prosperity is going to be a thing that's going to take you guys a very, very, very long time. Why? It's because of the fact that you need to do all of the little things in order for you to actually increase your prosperity points. I'm a low spender and I play cookie run moderately. Compare mine and Hyrule's numbers, it's light years ahead, and yet Hyrule is only top 10 in the leaderboards. I'm certain you've heard the term pay to win before, and this is basically what this event was. You'd normally associate the word pay to win with spending lots of money in game, right? These players are what we call the whales. Sometimes to get to the top, you gotta become what they call a whale. It's no secret that gacha games have a reputation as pay to win games. Kingdom is no different. Things such as cookie soul stones, gacha currency, and other necessities, which can take a player who doesn't spend money a lot of time to grind for. But those players with money? They can get them in a snap. Now, you see the problem with this? It gives those players that spend money a big advantage over those that don't. Game modes such as guild, arena, I can't Compete! And, as mentioned, the Triple Cone Cup. Now suddenly, we have two groups of people, those who grind out the game and barely spend, if at all, and those who buy their way into Grandmaster. <laughs> now, onto the topic of the cookies themselves. Remember Stardust Cookies banner? The one with the pity system and all that? It's not the same as Genshin where 90 pulls guarantees you a 5-star, or in this case, the Super Epic. It's more of building it by pulling. On paper, this sounds good, but the problem is, you have to pull a lot of times in order to get enough points. That's not factoring in the time limit. Stardust Banner lasted for only 2 weeks, which is just insanely short for something that's gonna take a lot of pulling. And you know what else came after next? Another fucking super epic. Must I remind you guys that this dude came after a super epic and came after a legendary all in 3 months. But hey, if you like this video so far, a sub would be sir. You can see the problem here, whales can just purchase the currency and easily get the pity ore, multiple copies, while free to play players have to grind a lot in order to get just one copy. This is especially a big problem in arena, because cookie ascension level matters a lot here. This gives you have to spend a lot of money to be at the top vibes. If you ask someone who would win in a free to play versus pay to win battle, I'm certain they'd say the pay to win will win simply because of the stronger cookies. There are also other factors such as magic candies, skill powders, toppings, etc. Speaking of magic candies, I asked one of the known whales in the community direct, even he agrees that the game is too pay to win, saying he spent $250 on magic candies alone. <laughs> Some members of the community have already spoken up about it. It's kinda sad how much the game favors the pay to win players more. And it shows in some comments that players are fed up with the pay to win crap. Heck, you know it's bad when even Hyrule says it's garbage. This event is absolutely just garbage. Honestly, me? I'm fed up with it too, but what about you guys? Comment down below. If you want to see the video where I expose the bad side of Kingdom Code videos, click on this video.